Good morning, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be going over five rares for gold making. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so coming over with five rares for gold making, this will be rares that you can literally camp, and pretty much all you have to do is kill them when they're up and see if you get the drop. That is basically the premise of this video. So that being the case, let's run over to number one, which is the Orb of Deception. Now the Orb of Deception can be farmed up, of course, from multiple different sources, but things like Molten Core and Blackwing Lair, that is on a weekly cooldown in order to actually get to hold off because you've got the weekly lockout, so to speak. But this one, on the other hand, has a relatively good chance in order to get hold of it, and it also comes from a rare. Now this is the rare called Scar the Broken. Now this guy is actually based within Feralus. Now what you have to do when you're going into Feralus is pretty much all you have to do is just park yourself at the coordinates 84.2 to 37.0. Now this guy in Feralus, basically just camp him, and he has a 1%, 1% chance of dropping the Orb of Deception. Now this is far better than all of the mobs that you can actually be farming up for, and at a 1% drop chance, you log on like every every now and then to get the drop on an Orb of Deception. This is a great way to park a very low level ult because it is vanilla content, so you can pretty much just take on the, the rare by yourself. Now I've used this in the past just to do some basic just logins and see if they're up, kill them if not, and just hope for the best. I found that this one is one of my most favourite, like laziest gold farms that I can actually do and it's basically log in whenever and see if he's up. And because he's a rare, he'll he'll respawn far much more frequently than he would like a world boss or basically your lockout for the Molten Core or the Blackwing Lair. This is primarily a great way in order to try and get a hold of an Orb of Deception and see if you can actually get a hold of it. Aside from that, let's move on to number two, which is the Pacifier. Now the Pacifier is a transmog item, which is like just a massive spiked two-handed mace, and this can actually be farmed up from Low Grosh, and he is located in the Hills Brad Foothills. Now basically, camping of course, he, he has a 45% chance of dropping this BOE item. On average this goes from anywhere from around about 10,000 gold and, either, and fluctuates between the two by a few thousand gold less than or more than that, that average. Now aside from that, he is located in Hillsborough Foothills at the coordinates 49.4 and 89.4. He is located within an actual cave, so basically he's like right in the beginning of the, the actual cave and it's a very like little alcove type thing. You can, it basically looks like a hut so to speak, if you know what I'm talking about. But aside from that, he is a great way in order to actually farm up basically a good BOE item which actually sells quite frequently on the auction house in the grand scheme of transmog and overall is not farmed all that much. The only thing I will recommend however is basically just park a low tier alt there because this is a low level zone and other than that you don't have to put like a max level toon camping it for you. Now aside from that that is the pacifier at number two. Now coming in at number three and at no surprise is the Jade Fire Spirit. Now this actually drops at a 1% drop chance from the Spirit of Jade Fire. This is located within an located within an actual cave system at on the Timeless Isles at coordinates 74.8 and 34.6. Basically, what you'll be wanting to do is run, every now and then log into your character, run around the dungeon, kill all of the mobs however, as you can also pick up an ominous flame when you're actually farming this up. Just so you know, just kill all the mobs, you may get an ominous flame battle pet as well. But what you'll be primarily searching for is the rare that is up, he will actually show up on your map when you're in the cave as a star, for obvious reasons, and just go over to him, kill him, see if you get the drop, if not, log back out. It's really that dead simple. Other than that, the Jade Fire Spirit sells on the auction house relatively on most servers a very decent amount of gold for that. So what I would, would recommend for this is just park a 
medium-ish level character, you can you can just park anyone who is able to kill it there. What I will recommend, however, is by just posting a character there that you don't really use all that much, because at the end of the day, if it's on the time of Siles, you can do some other different types of farms, which we'll get on to later. Coming in at number four, what we'll be going over is the big red ray gun. Now this drops off of Dr. Weevil at a 3% drop chance. Now this is from Alcaz Island within the Dust Wallow Marsh. This is on the island which is off the coast and basically you kind of need to be a high level character as you will get dismounted when you're flying over it, just so you know you may die. And <laughs> other than that, once you've actually got there, you want to go to the coordinates 76.0 to 18.6. That will actually locate you toward the actual hut in which he's in, and all you have to do is run in there and go to the top of the area. Dr. Weevil is there, and he's usually there for a decent amount of time. His respawn timer is around about 15 minutes, so you can farm this every 15 minutes if you really wanted to. And other than that, is a great way in order to pick up an item that can sell for a decent amount of gold. It's one of those ones where I will just go to, to kind of like not crush one and just park an ult there while I'm programming or doing something else and then when as soon as he respawns I kill them and see if I get the actual drop. This is what I'll do like when I'm in my downtime or I'm coding something for worth it. I will actually have it set up there and I'll just be like kill and then just crack on with my work that I was actually doing. So I find this to be a great one if you actually just want to be semi-AFK when you're actually farming this up. Now, for, however, the Big Red Ray Gun actually sells for a decent amount of gold overall, and I find this to be an easy way in order to make a sizable amount of gold for basically no work at all. It's like very, very minimal work for actually farming this up. So this is a great one in order to suggest. Now coming in at last on our list is the Ruby Droplet. Now this one actually drops at a 3% drop chance once again, and that one is from Garnia. And that one is on the Timeless Isle at coordinate 65.0 to 27.4. Basically what you'll be wanting to do, however, to get on top of there is either do two methods. Now the first method is to attack is to go to the top of the timeless isle so you run up the island and you get to the top and attack an albatross that will pick you up and take you round the area and what you'll be wanting to do is attack it again when you're over the top of the actual pool this is a red pool of where you're actually going to and you can just drop in there and don't die. Uh, other than that, if you do overshoot it, make sure that you have a slow fall effect so you don't actually get hit and die by the full damage because there won't be that. You will have to take red sickness as there's not many ways to get on top of there in order to do this. Another way, however, in which I prefer to do is I like to swim out into the fatigue zone of the timeless isle. I mount up on my flying mount and I get high enough in which once I actually get dismounted, I can then just glide with a goblin glider and I can fly down to where the spawn point is and it's so much easier to do. I find that one to be easier and I don't have to try and see, oh, am I gonna overshoot it or not? I can basically just override that and just be like, right, I'll just glide down and just park myself where I want to be. And other than that, all you have to do is log in every now and then to see if he's up. And not many people actually farm this at the moment, so this is quite a good way in order to make a decent amount of gold from a battle pet, which not many people actually do remember farming up. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much all I have to say for five rares for gold making. Have an awesome rest of the day, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow.